Yo, what's good everyone? Today we're talking about the newest Air Jordan 1 coming out, the Air Jordan 1 Rust Shadow, and I'm letting you know how you guys can hit on the shoe. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. If you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button before we get started today. Leave a big like on this video. It's gonna push it out to everyone else who's trying to cop these shoes, and today we're talking about how you guys can hit on the Air Jordan 1 Rust Shadow. Kind of had some mixed feelings about this shoe. I don't know how a lot of people think about it. I know it's another nice Air Jordan 1, but people aren't too sure about that. Like kind of weird copper color. I'm gonna break down the shoe a bunch today. If you guys haven't seen how to cop video, I'm gonna break down the shoe, the release details, take some look at like Nike sneakers, see the pictures and go through the shoe. Um, we'll also go to a resale guide, let you know some of the predictions for the future, let you know if you should sell or hold the shoe, if you should even go for the shoe in general. And then of course, I'm going to break down my secrets, best sites to cop on, all that stuff. Not going to want to miss out on any of it. That's going to be towards the end of the video. So make sure you guys stick around for that. But to get started, we're just going to get into a breakdown of the shoe. This shoe, this Air Jordan 1 Rush Shadow is going to come out May 4th, retailing at 170. And like I said, it's had a lot of mixed feelings on the shoe, I think. A lot of people were hoping for a little bit of a different design on the shadow, but luckily we do have another shadow 2.0 coming out later in May. We'll talk about that in another video, but this one today, I know a lot of people do have mixed feelings about it. And honestly, I'm kind of feeling the same about it. I think it's a shoe that I'm definitely gonna wanna see in hand. And this one actually already did come out um, overseas. So the US is seeing a delayed drop of the shoe and resale prices, which we'll break down later, haven't been the best for it, but there could still be some potential with the shoe, so it is gonna be a cop for sure. Another Air Jordan 1, we guys know Air Jordan 1s are banging out, but this one's just a little bit weird, a little different, honestly, but I'm still kind of excited for it. And we have definitely had a couple different Air Jordan shadow models come out. We had the Air Jordan 1 shadows, the lows, then we had the OG shadow highs. We're seeing the 2.0 version come out later this month. And then we also just had like the um, Air Jordan 1 mid, like white shadow ones come out. And I know a lot of people do like the shadow colorway. And I think this one kind of having a different take on it. We've seen a couple different names for it. It's been like the Air Jordan 1 rush shadow. We have the patina. We have the light army color. A couple different names for it. Even StockX, I think, has like three different names in the title for it. But let's break this down on Nike sneakers. Again, retailing at 170, we see the Air Jordan 1 rush shadow pulled up right here. Looks like kind of a fire shoe, but again, that copper detail on the shoe is just a little weird. Um, there is no grade school size coming. We just have a nice men's size run in pretty much all men's sizes. And this one is kind of interesting. I don't know, I do really like the shadow on there, but it does look like kind of a stiffer gray suede on there. So honestly, like I'm saying is, I'm gonna need to see this shoe in hand to feel the materials. If it's nice, buttery, I think it's gonna be a shoe that we can rock. I think we can see some of that tumbled leather on the toe. You guys know tumbled leather is my favorite on the toe of Air Jordans. Then you also have it on the middle part here on the upper of it looks like a little softer um, leather too as well as around the collar. So it does look like it has some potential but 100% we'll need to see this one in hand. I'm just kind of breaking down the shoe. My personal favorite parts are definitely that sail midsole. You can kind of tell on here but the sail midsole, I think, brings the colorway together very, very nice. I think the touch of the sail on there is very, very cool. And I like the vibe that the shoe brings. Again, like a lot of people are saying, we have that copper upper all around the shoe. And it's just a little weird for an Air Jordan. I don't know if a lot of people were just kind of disappointed that they threw this color. You could almost throw any other color on there and I think it would work. But this one's just a little bit different. They did something different. We have that copper on the eye stray as well as on the toe box up there and then that swoosh too. And a weird part for me, I don't even know if we can see it on these pictures, but I've seen it on some different ones. You can kind of see it here, but this um, Nike logo on the tongue is actually mint colored. I'm not sure why at all they made it a mint color. And we've seen this with a couple different Air Jordans, like the Hyper Royals that came out. They made it kind of a different like blue color on the tongue on that little stitching right there. So. Kind of weird, I don't really think it was necessary. Could have just kept it sail or even the smoke gray, whatever, the shadow gray. But other than that, it's still pretty fire. Um, I do like the black upper as well. The mix of the black and the shadow, I think that bodes very well on it. And I, I don't think that they look ugly with the copper, but I think they could look a lot better and different if they did a different color. All I gotta say is the leather better be super nice on these or this pair is gonna be straight doo-doo. 
I'm still hoping to get this one in and resale prices, like I said, are kind of iffy on this one. So we'll look at those resale prices real quick. Now, like I was saying on StockX, you can see it's called the Jordan 1 Retro High Light Army, one colorway, Rush Shadow, another colorway name, and then Patina. Just a bunch of different colorway names for the shoe. But as we look at the resale prices, you can see that this shoe is an absolute brick. No one really wants it after the overseas release. And we still have um, the US release to drop, which is kind of weird because the shoe is pretty limited. Basically, no stores are getting this one. Um, we do have sneakers. We got some boutiques. We got um, Foot Locker, just a couple basic stores, but nothing crazy for the shoe. So that's why I was kind of confused at the prices, but it, I guess it really does show that people don't really like the shoe in general. Of course, the shoe is still going to fly off the shelves. Um, I don't expect it to sit at all. It's still going to be super tough to cop. And I mean, that's the sad part is people who actually like the shoe who are trying to cop it for the toe probably will have a very tough time getting it because it's so limited and because Jordan ones just fly. And they'll even flip for even 20, 10 bucks. People will still buy it up. The resellers will still buy it up and try to cop it. But I still kind of like it. I will definitely be trying to get it. And I mean, the future of this shoe, I don't see prices banging too high. So if you do hit this shoe and you don't really like it, I'd probably try to sell it pretty quick. I think there's a ton better drops you could invest into. And even passing on this shoe on like sneakers, if you're trying to hit some different shoes during the month, could be a move too because... I mean, profits aren't that greatest. And if you're not trying to cop it for the toe, you might as well just pass, honestly, because it is going to be pretty limited. But future predictions with the shoe, I think it's definitely going to take a year for the shoe to rise to good prices. I think um, maybe around fall this year, we could see a little bit better prices. I mean, big, big sizes like above 11 and a half have been holding their prices up to about 15 is probably the max I'd go there. But small sizes, um, eight to nine, stuff like that. It's just not doing very well. So the longevity of the shoe, it's gonna be a very long hold. In my opinion, I would not be looking to invest in this one and not be trying to hold this one too. It's either put it to the toe, maybe save it for later to wear or just sell it. Now this is kind of where resale prices and the actual shoes like quantity stock number does not add up because where you guys can cop this shoe is gonna be very tough. There's almost no places really dropping them here in the US. We do have Nike sneakers. We do have um, a very, very limited in-store reservations for just like Foot Locker, basically. There's no finish line, no champs, foot action, stuff like that. And so real quick, um, we're gonna break down just a couple of the sites where I think you guys could have the most success if you're trying to cop these um, Jordan 1 Rush Shadows. And starting off, of course, number one is gonna be Nike sneakers. Nike sneakers should have about 75, 80% of the stock for the shoe, possibly even higher with a release like this. I don't think basically anyone's getting the shoe, which is kind of tough, but um, Nike sneakers is of course gonna be your best bet. If you guys haven't hit in a while, you guys know the move. I know a lot of people haven't done it yet. And when I tell people to do it and they finally do it, they do hit. So first off, of course, change that payment method. If you have a card in there, I just go real quick to PayPal, honestly. I think PayPal's worked pretty good for me in the past. I think verification's pretty good on that end, so it kind of helps the entry go through. Um, and then uh, you could also do Apple Pay. I've used Apple Pay, hit a couple times. That's a good one too, but maybe not the most success I've seen with Apple Pay. So maybe try PayPal. Other than that, just stay active on the app. And I think if you haven't hit in a while, you guys know what to do. Delete that account, get a new one, start it all over. And I mean, if you're really trying to get this shoe, I don't think it'll be insanely hard on sneakers but i think just because of it being a jordan one everyone's gonna go for it and even if people don't want it they're just trying to get the shoe honestly and flip it for a couple five ten bucks so sadly that's kind of the culture right now with jordan ones with sneakers in general but this one is still one that i really like then number two talking about in-store reservations we always talk about these because it's usually my favorite move but sadly for this one no stores are getting them i think i saw Foot Locker. Um, but on Broadway in LA is getting them, California. Um, I think New York is getting them. And then I think Chicago, just like three to five stores. I didn't check any other states really. I don't think Miami's getting them, but basically three to five stores is gonna get these ones. So stock is crazy limited on them. So I mean, even if you don't hit sneakers or don't hit any of these smaller shops, don't feel too worried. I mean, it's not like a huge release anyways. And especially with the Shadow 2.0s coming up, those are definitely going to be one that you guys are going to be wanting to keep your eye out for. 
and we will talk about those Shadow 2.0s coming up in a later video. But for these ones today, that's going to do it for the Jordan 1 Rush Shadow. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know. You guys, you guys know, hit my Instagram up. You guys, I'm always trying to um, answer questions for you guys. If you guys have any questions about sneakers, sites to cop on, anything like that. But these ones are going to be limited. I think it's a go. I want to see the shoe in hand. So hopefully we can get that here on the channel. But other than that, today, that's going to do it. And we'll see you guys next time.